Hi chaps, Simo P here from Beard, Biceps and Bat Chat. Today I'm going to have a quick chat about the new update we've just had. Well, I downloaded it this morning, update 3.8, Battlefield Bonanza. So this is designed to bring back balance and graphical improvements, mostly to well a pair of fairly uh, popular maps. There's also some changes to a couple of fairly popular tanks and just a change to the platoon UI as well. So the first changes we have is we have an Arden summer map. Um, nothing too crazy. It's I think we just got tired of the winter map, so we can finally see what is below all that snow. We've got a northwest redesign. Now they've done quite a bit here, so they've reduced some of the uh, inclines just because it was slowing some tanks. Uh, reach in certain areas before the opposite team could so this is probably going to change a couple of the engagement points um, and it should open up um, how the maps played uh, I know previously one map that I've seen really change is Pearl River generally heavies would adam advance down the right hand uh, flank and the right hand corridor now we're seeing people push a lot more through the middle corridor we've also had an update to Redshire again nothing too crazy this is just graphical, so they've just made it HD, just to make it look uh, a little bit prettier, but nothing too overly uh, crazy with uh, Redshire. Now, the, well, the improved platoon management UI, um, essentially, it, it just changes the look of it, and the idea is it just clears it up a little bit, um, but it's going to be used for future updates, so they wanted to create a new system. Very interested to see what they're going to do with it in future updates. Maybe they're going to go back to uh, where you'll be able to do platoon fights um, and enter a battle queue that way. So seven on seven, you play another platoon with seven people um, rather than having to go through training rooms and organize it, organize it weeks in advance uh, to get a scrimmage that way. Uh, there's a couple of new proven ground missions. I'll be honest, it don't uh, overly. Uh, I don't really do proving grounds, but I know a couple of you guys do. They've also done a lot of work with the sound. Now, I know I've probably touched on this um, where I speak about the June overview video, but the idea behind this is literally just to improve the tank engine, the sound behaviours, um, but it should allow them also to do NPC voices that are nation-specific. A lot of you guys are really excited about this. I know a lot of people on the forums have been asking for this for a long, long time. So it will be really good when you drive a Russian tank to have a Russian accent rather than, is it British or American now? I'm unsure. Um, but I know they haven't all been fully supported. So that would be really cool. Just add uh, another level of uh, realism to our uh, tanks. The other update well, to 3.8 that I was sort of draws me in is we've got a couple of changes to vehicles. Um, Panther in particular, they've increased the um, hull rotation. They've increased the elevation of the gun from 5 degrees to 8 degrees. They've also made it a little bit faster, giving it uh, 700 horsepower rather than 600. Um, they've also done some changes to the low. So originally when the patch notes were released, the low and the low black edition were due to get a uh, front armour buff. Now they've removed that from the patch notes and instead just left it with increasing the um, elevation of the gun from 8 to 10 degrees and giving it increased horsepower to 800 to 1000 horsepower so whether they include the armor buff I'm unsure um, whether they've just pulled it from the notes but it'll still happen I don't know hopefully they've not pulled it all together because I know a lot of people have been asking for that as well um, the main thing that sort of stood out to me as well we've got the Centurion 1 the Centurion 7-1 uh, they've actually increased the uh, top speed to 50 kilometers per hour. The other tank that's had a fairly big buff is the a STA-2. They've increased the top speed to 55 kilometers per hour, whereas it, it previously was only 45 kilometers per hour. They've also increased the horsepower to 570 rather than just 500. So it's going to hit top speed a little bit quicker. It's going to be a little bit more maneuverable. Um, which is the strength of the tank then anyway, so it should just make that tank just a little bit better I'd be uh, really interested to see what your thoughts are on update 3.8 um, What you're looking forward to let me know if the uh, low buff to the armor does come through or not I'll be very interested to see if it does 
let me know in the comment section below guys i hope you're enjoying the content please like and subscribe to the channel and i will catch you next time chaps